This was the setup from last time. Hello and welcome. This time we are going to change the speed of the fan. Not only turn it off and on, we are going to change the speed. Yeah. We said one limiting factor is this relay here. Because we want to turn, we want to use pulse width modulation, so we turn it off very fast, the, the relay, the, 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 the fan, the motor. And this relay has limited amount of switches. Because there are mechanical parts inside which are switching and so on, this should be avoided simply. Yeah? So we need to avoid those switching parts. We have this transistor for gaining, for amplifying our our uh, our output to make the, the relay work. Let's have a look on the data sheet on the data sheet of this uh, transistor and here we can read collector current 1.5 amperes. So this little thing here can produce or can switch 1.5 amps. Here we need on the motor side, we need 500 milliampere max, so 0 0.5 max. I can re get rid of this relay. Yeah. I can really get rid of this relay because I have enough current. Yeah. So I will do this now. So I will remove the relay. Back. These two are no longer necessary and I will directly plug the output of my, of my uh, transistor to the motor. Let's see if it's working. Turn on. Working! Okay. This is good. This is good. This we can, this we can use. I will now switch this directly to plus 5 volt to have it run always yeah. this see touch a little bit if this is getting hot no at least not fast yeah. it stays very cool so we should be safe and our power consumption so we can we can go so we can go <laughs> to the software part yeah we can go to the software part uh this was our program okay this time this time there's motor pin number three. Three is also a pin which is able of pulse width modulation, so we are fine here. Yeah. So this time I will use in the loop my integer. Yeah. And I will call it I and I will make a for loop. So I want to start very slow and go up, go up to small 255 go up to 255 and yeah. that's it yeah so i will now say analog analog right yeah and analog virte virte right I want to go to the Virte <laughs> analog right yeah? and of course to the motor pin motor pin and of course with the value i okay so I will delay now for let's say 100 milliseconds and then it should I will make an analog right zero Delay for five seconds and then I will start again. So it should slowly start to increase the speed. Yeah. 
here and then suddenly turn off at maximum speed. Okay, so this is what we expect to see. At least I expect these ones I don't need anymore. Ooh, I will save under another name. This is now, meanwhile, 25th. Yeah. Motor. Motor speed transistor. Transistor, save. Download. Aha. Uh -huh. Diali, Diali, it doesn't know Dili. <laughs> All right, delay. Let's see. Something, something has happened. Yes, it's starting slow. We can only see it on the bright, we can also see it on the brightness of the LED. We cannot really see. I think the sound is better. Off. Okay. Looks fine. There. Here. Working well. Working well. Okay, so I want to change this now in steps. Okay, I want to change this now in steps, not one acceleration, one more or less smooth acceleration. I want to change this in steps. So I will define define uh, motor steps something. I want to change this in let's say six steps. Okay. And I want to define a step time. Each time, each time, each step should be 2000 milliseconds. Okay. So I'm not going up here to 255, I'm going up to motor steps. Okay. And then of course I'm not outputting I. I'm outputting I divided by motor steps. Okay. And multiplied by 255. Because this is something between 0 and 1. Yeah. This should be better this way, because then it's first multiplied and then divided and this is then all integer and this is working. Okay, so what we're starting? Motor step zero. Ah, I don't like this. So I will start with motor step one and go up to motor steps. Okay, this is good. This is good. Should work. Let's see. And. Ah, of course, this is too fast. I have to wait here the step time, not 100 milliseconds. Yeah. Upload. See what it's doing. Uh -huh. Moves in steps. Zero. Okay, five seconds zero. Step number one, step number two, step number three, four, five, six. Stop. Perfect. Yeah. So now, now we can control, now we can control the, the speed of the fan. Okay. That's a, Pretty nice thing. Yeah. Just think about what is necessary, not what is necessary to change in 10% steps. Okay, so this would be your task. It's a rather easy task. If you want, you can build in this thermistor. Yeah. Read, read how much temperature we got 
and depending on the temperature have the speed of the cooling fan. Okay, this would also be a nice project. Do whatever you like. Yeah. Easy way, just change it to 10% changes yeah? and more complicated way, use a thermistor to, to, to react on the temperature. So this would be now my, my adaptive fan control. You see currently I measure 22 degree, around 22 degree. The fan is turning rather slow, around 20%. Yeah. But if I touch, if I touch now my thermistor, you hear how the fan is speeding up, and you also see it. I'm reaching uh, around 30 degree now with the tip at the tip of my fingers, and I have full speed by the fan. Yeah. And if I release it, if I release it. Then the cooling immediately takes place and it's cooling down and the fan will s slow down. So this is like, this is exactly like a, a cooling fan on your CPU yeah? or on your laptop or whatever. This is what you always hear if there is getting too much, too much power or power to get rid of. Yeah? Now I apply power. Great. Okay. This is one thing you could try, and where it really makes sense to to let the spin, the fan speed adapt a little bit. One thing is not covered. We're right now turning in just one direction. Maybe you have some. You have some. Uh, application where you want to turn left and right yeah then in this case you have to change the polarity yeah not only the speed there something comes into 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 action which is called an H bridge and this is then topic of our next video in our next video yeah, we are going to make the motor turn left and right with every speed we want Watch this if you want to see how this is working. For this time, thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.